Well, it's been a while, so we just finished the uh, trim tab. There's the rudder, and there's the vertical stabilizer. So now we're going to start on the horizontal stabilizer. Today I'm going to be working on the hinge angle. Anybody recognize this part? It's a uh, leftover from a previous RV project. If you know what it is, put it in the comments. Now I'm ready to cut these angles out. Make an adjustment here. This scotch Bright wheel has been around for a while. This is its uh, second RV. Still in good shape. And uh, we're going to take these angles and clean them up a little bit. That metal does get hot. The backs of these angles have to be countersunk in all of the number 40 holes. I grabbed a piece of scrap one by and marked where the holes are going to be countersinked to allow for the countersink to go through. I used my drill press and a large bit to drill holes where the marks were to allow the countersink to go through. After making some practice cuts with the uh, bundle that comes with the kit, you know, the, with a bundle, a thing that nobody knows what it's for, it's for that. So I made some uh, test cuts with the uh, Microsoft countersink just to make sure I had the depth just right. Then I did the brackets. Then I grabbed a rivet and made sure that it fit okay. And there we go. All the countersinks are done. Now for the other half of the bracket and some blue film therapy. Now to round off the edges. Now it's time to make the inboard and outboard hinge bracket assemblies. Yeah, the wife's been at it again. Here's another t-shirt. Cool. I got this Avery rivet squeezer a long time ago. And uh, it's been a, been a real joy to use. I'm going to change it out, put a little smaller yoke on it.
handy to have jigs and things to hold things while you're trying to uh, rivet stuff. So this is a little experiment here. Go forward, not reverse. Makes it a little easier to get to the rivet. Now the last rivet on this uh, particular bracket. There we go. Now I need to assemble the outbound hinge brackets. This is a K1000-4 nut plate. So now that I have a rivet on one side of the nut plate, the other side of the nut plate is sticking up a little bit and I need to pull that down. So I'm going to use one of these side clamps just to kind of pull things down and uh, put it in position so I can rivet it. The reason for this is I want to make sure when I put the rivet in that it pulls that nut plate down. Put a ribbon in a hole. Put a little scotch tape on it. Make sure it doesn't slide around. We're ready to rip. There we go. There we go, all done. Here's a drawing where the hinge brackets are attached to the forward spar. Be sure and check back. We'll be doing more of these vlogs as we build this horizontal stabilizer. Thanks for watching.